Next concept here is one-to-one -one functions. This is a pretty straightforward concept. When you first learn what a function is, you you learn have a, make a graph there. You learn that a function for something to be a function, it can't. Uh, I can draw it however I want here as long as I don't do what. Yeah, as long as I don't go back, right? That's a function, but if I drew a graph where it turned around there, then it's not a then it's not a function anymore. <laughs> I know I've offended you with that, but it can't have two y values here, right? For something to be a function, it can be that, it can be this, it can be whatever, as long as it doesn't curve back on itself. This is why a vertical line's not a function, because there's lots of points that have for one x value have lots of different y values. It has to have a unique y value. A function is, okay, a function is something that has a unique y value for each x, right? That's kind of a one-way relationship, right? Because you could have, as long as every, any x value you pick only has one y value, then it's a function. But you can have two x values that have the same y value, right? It, do, it only works one way. It has to be a unique y value for each x value. If it's the other way around as well, a one-to-one, -one, then it's a one-to-one -one function. Okay, so unique y value for each x and vice versa, right? I mean, it, it does say it up here, right? If the relationship's the other way as well. So if I'm going to draw the... It, if I if I'm going to draw this as a function here, I just you know this is a function, but it's not one to one. It uh, anywhere I draw a vertical line, there's only it only crosses it once, right? If I want to check if it's one to one, well I'd have to do it the other way as well. I'd have to see is there a place where there's more than one x value for each y value? It's a beautiful looking picture. That's one to one. Um, this is not. This is not one to one. This is not one to one because there's a place here where you have lots of different x values have the same y value. Can you take two minutes right now and decide which of these functions are one to one or not? Look at a graph first and then see if you can confirm algebraically whether they're one to one or not. Like, let's, okay, we'll do the simple one together here. There is a really bad drawing of a parabola. Any x value you pick, first of all, is that a function? It is a function, right? If you pick, if you, if you take any x value, you only get one y value, right? Algebraically, if you take a number and put it in here, like 3 squared, you get 9. You get a single value, right? Is it a one-to-one -one function? No, because if I go like this, I get two different places. If I do the opposite, here, if I put in an x value and see what y value I get, I only get 1. But if I do the reverse, if I put 16 in here and solve for this, right? Like if you... If you put an x value in and see what y is, you get 1. But if you put a y value in and see what x you get, you get, what do you get? Four. Yeah, plus or minus 4, right? x is plus or minus 4. 
there's two values. There's two different values. So from the graph and from this, you can tell it's not one to one because there's two there's two possible y values that go with 16, right? If y is 16, there's two possible x values that go with 16. Okay, so you, you look quickly at the...